Hello everyone and welcome, it's Lainey. So I thought I'd just do this to do some sort of catch up with what's going on um, just with me at the moment. Um, I've had what, what I would call a bit of an off, a few off days. Didn't feel very well on Saturday. I keep getting these like pains that sort of move all over my body. It's kind of like feeling like you're being crushed on the inside. Hard to explain. Um, I do have low vitamin D, and obviously the doctors put it down to that. But um, my, my vitamin D levels have improved, and the pains haven't. Um, it's not all the time. It can happen twice in one week, and then every day in the next, or one a fortnight. You know what I mean? It's so sporadic. There's no like sort of set thing to it so I, you know and the, the pain can be in my cheekbones it can be in my fingers it can be in my biceps it can, it can be like everywhere so yeah I've been sorting that out but also I have like a, a rash all over so uh, doctor came out again he said that they might look further into um like do some more testing for the pain with the increase in the vitamin D and still no relief in that um, and I've also got this like rash which they've decided is a discord dermatitis apparently um, it's just mentally mad and it drives you insane and it's like it's like patches kind of looks like patches so I've got one on my shoulder with three across my chest. I've got half a dozen or more down each arm. I've got two on my stomach and two on my legs. Um, so I'm hoping that they've given us some like cortisone. Um, well, it's like, oh, what's it called? Like a, a topical steroid cream. It's called Dacacort which um, hopefully that will get rid of it because it's really annoying <laughs> um, and I think just how I felt as well just sort of I've just been really I wouldn't say moody but just frustrated I think is probably the best way of describing it um, I, I think it's just down to like I want to do more the more I do and I, this year has been amazing like don't get us wrong it's been phenomenal like but the more I do the more I want to do so like obviously I've been out and about I go on the shower and I'm like I want to go to a certain part of the beach that I can't get to because it's too steep um that's frustrating you know what I mean and my I wanted to wrap presents the other day and I wanted to do that but because I couldn't just go and get the things it's really annoying and my, my daughter just loads for it but then I feel bad for constantly having to ask her um, something or you know she's got her own things to do as well so like you know then I'd have to wait and I just want to instantly do something that I want to do but I can't so I I know I like obviously in the most part I just accept it I know it's part of like it and that it just does get to me now and again and like you know it's kind of like when I go into the supermarket I um, make a point of not like going there it's just like a browse and I buy the odd few things and I, when I go on my own and I only get things that I can reach because I just want to do something that I don't have to ask for help for, if that makes sense. And I know that we all have to ask for help in some things, you know, like whether I, that, you know, it could be because your height restricts you or, you know, whatever. Um, but I just, I suppose it's because it feels like it's everything for me. You know, like in an, if you think about a typical deer type of thing you know I, I 
obviously get up in the morning, I wake up in the morning and then I have to, like the carers help us, so I, I get like into the heist. So it's a case of, you know, having to uh, roll over, put the heistling underneath and I roll the other way so the heistling can be brought out and um, the heist is brought over, um, it's lowered down, hook all the four hooks on, which I can do and I can press the button as well, which I tend to do all the bits I can do, um, but it's on like rollers so um, it needs moving across so I can't do that part so I need them to do that. They have to bring in uh, the shower chair from the bathroom which is like it it's really high and it kind of looks a bit like um, a cross between a dentist torture chair and a high chair because of its height <laughs> so it doesn't make you feel the best of it things but obviously it's given us the ability to go in the shower and that's just amazing so then you know get into the shower and I can't reach the the um this the, the shower head um to lower it down because you know, my kids are tall so obviously they need high up so that has to be pulled down for us and, and luckily the wash things are right next to the shower so I can reach them and do that myself but then they'll have to do my back and they'll have to do my legs because obviously I can't do that and but obviously I've managed to wash my hair myself which before being able to go in the shower I wasn't able to do because I used to have to lean over the side of the bed <laughs> and they used all of me like my just to keep us upright <laughs> just sort of falling off, falling off but I don't think I would have but things you do and I know there's like loads of improvements, but it's just like every time there's improvements, I'm like, I just want, I just want one day that I could do it myself. And like, it's, it's really frustrating. And now like, you know, I do, I, you know, I have accepted it and I do accept it. I just, you know, just sometimes I think it just gets to us and I think it's just normal for that. And I do feel better, I mean I feel much better compared to the weekend. Um, I've been out today, I met up with a couple of my friends uh, in the pub along the road and we had um, we had lunch and, uh, or dinner as I say, but it, it, I mean I even had a dessert which I wouldn't have usually because obviously calorie wise and it is a bit, I always like sort of worry a bit because I can't count the calories and um, I had sweet potato fries and a fish goujon wrap and a slice of um, vanilla and caramel cheesecake and the cheesecake was probably the nicest thing um, and, I, and I enjoyed it and obviously it was a great to catch up and have a chat and um, do them so I have no clue what calories to put down for um, probably guessing about 300 for the fries the wrap, wraps themselves are about 160 the fish shouldn't be too high there was a bit of salad in it nothing else um, the salad at, at most probably 10 calories so I'll, I'll work it out the cheesecake probably about three three fifty. So like the majority of my calories will have gone in in into that. But like I said, I enjoyed it and it, it's now and again, you know. But that's the other thing. It just feels like I'm struggling with that as well at the minute. It's like I'm not going over my maintenance calories and I'm doing really well, say for like five five days in a row, I'll do really well, stay right within my cutting calories. And then I just feel extra hungry and it's not like it's not mood associated, I feel extra hungry and I don't know if it's just I need to have a change of what I'm eating because I've, I'm, I pretty much eat the same things and have done for like months at a time and the sort of person I find something I like and then I just ply myself with it and just have it constantly to the point that I can't stand the same of it. Um, so I want to uh, maybe sit down with Laura, I've got like that pinch a non-book um, 
the cookbook and you know Laura doesn't mind cooking a couple of times a week and then look into other meals apparently Marks and Spencer's do a, a lower calorie um, range of ready meals which I think is three for ten pound which is a little expensive but for the quality and taste I suppose you know um, and I have been told that they are really nice so I may try them um, just as a change you know something something different um, and just see if I can sort of jazz it up a bit because obviously I get weighed on the 17th of December and I don't want to get the 17th of December in these last two weeks I've had um, nearly 2200 calories like average so over the days um, and my maintenance calories is uh, 2480 so obviously I'm not far off maintenance ones and I don't want to get to there and then not have lost again um, or not have lost very much I should say so I really need to do something to try and sort it out and because my the margins of mine are so small like you know like the calorie difference because I'm only sort of cutting to um, my well, aim is like a pound a week I'd really like to get half a stone off like before Christmas so like the, by the time I get weighed on the seven inks um, I'd really like a, a, at least half a stone so fingers crossed I get it uh, sorted it, 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 that's what I mean it's not like extremely bad it's just it's just no, <laughs> that's kind of how it felt a bit more, uh, whatever you say, but um, I don't know, it's just, I feel like I've just come on and whinged, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I need, I think I need just something new, just like some new things happening and stuff, but then it's been a lot of new things this year in a sense but and then again I don't know if it's just I need like I'm at the point where I just want it constantly I, I, like I want more <laughs> and then I think oh you know you it sometimes can start your mind thinking you know but what if you know what if you changed your life sooner what if things had got better sooner what if you never ended up that way um, obviously they're not things that can be changed I have no control over them I had no control over them back then I, you know, I didn't, it wasn't intentional so um, it's just a case of one step at a time mm, stop trying to run before I can walk <laughs> just keep rolling um, yeah also, I think it's even what to do on here, like what what do I do, because I kind of thought about it and I was thinking, should I do a favourite video, um, but then I'm not really sure what people want to see, uh, it, I know like a daily, day in the life or a weekly vlog thing is not really something I would assume that's optional for me because it literally will be done mostly from here <laughs> so I kind of see that being of much interest really um I don't know I mean what what do uh, if anyone has any thoughts and ideas of what videos you'd like to see then please leave a leave a comment Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, do a little dance. I think you should do a jive. <laughs> I'm going to run out of dances soon, aren't I? It's just going to be like making up dance moves and stuff. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Bye.